Okay. So the next one is flesh. Yes. And I've got Unlocking a code hatch. on this. 2Y3Z1X. I don't know if that helps you with anything. It says, go to the hatch. This is something that opened on my end. The person in the past should light all candles and place diary. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Okay. So uh, the problem is one of my candles is out. Uh-oh. And it, it's gone. Like, it's melted. And I can't restart it. So we lost. Yeah, game over. Okay. Okay, say that again. The person of the past should light all candles and place diary. Okay, so Communicate I information on photo slides. Obtain flesh. Okay, so basically I've done that. The diary is here. I have a pencil that I could draw into the diary, I presume. A Va Albert okay. Vanderboom diary. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, inside the... Okay. <laughs> inside the diary. The first page says, as a child, I was attacked by bees. My siblings laughed at me. And there's four squares, kind of like those pictures that we were describing earlier. Okay. So... But they're empty. Oh, hold on. So I'll, I'll explain. It, this This will make sense. Okay. I have a bunch of slides that I can cycle through. Okay. And there's different images on them. Like there's Albert, I assume, working on a computer. There's Albert getting stung by bees and kids laughing at him. But are those arranged in any sort of order? Yeah, so in the top left, there's four squares. Three of them are empty and one of them's full. Okay, so I assume tell me I the one where he was attacked order. by bees and where that is in that grid. I can't remove them. Okay. Um, I, Sorry, I have to go through all of them. Okay. Bottom right is uh, filled in with the bees. Okay. Next, um, IDAV that we talked about is actually named Ida. So I think it's just Ida V because it says, Ida, she left me with a broken heart. So I guess that was our mother. Okay. So we need a picture of Ida left me with a broken heart and you tell me that spot again. Okay. There's a picture of, of Ida. Of I, I'm going to call her IDAV. That's what yeah, IDAV, definitely. I assume this is the one. So that's top right. Okay. Then the birth of my daughter Rose was my greatest achievement of my life. Okay. Oh, this is cold soup I have. That's bottom left. Bottom left, okay. I've been working on the cubicle device to establish a connection with the future. Do you see that? That's bottom, bottom right. Okay. And that's, of course, what I'm using. I know that when I lose a game of chess, my first life will end. Do you have anything That's about top left. Okay. My dark soul will live on into the future waiting for resurrection. Top right. Okay, done. Wait, are we going to resurrect him? I get I think so. So now I have a now I have a scalpel so I can go and get the blood, I think. Okay. <laughs> Let me go uh dig, the flesh. In, dig into my dad. Or yeah. Uh You're going to cut his ear off. Yep. I am. I am going to cut his ear off. This got dark. <laughs> Jeez. This got dark. Yep, I have his ear now. Cool. Now I just need... Okay. Now I just so, need his uh, nose, I guess. Confirm. Did the person in the past obtain flesh? Yes. yes. Okay, next one. Blood. Yes. Walk me We're through. We're unlocking the third hatch. Go to the hatch. Communicate print information... With the person in the past and find the secret compartment. Okay. Okay. So I have I still have this for the for the blood, I still have this code, six digit code with two dashes on either side. And then this it's above this diamond shaped thing. So I have XYZ one two three kind of numpad thing. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what to push. Okay. Two Y three Z one x it's z by the way i wasn't sure but you said z so i was like okay <laughs> <laughs> there is a message in the eye of the crow oh okay i have to go look at That's that what picture it says. maybe hold on oh yeah i can oh cool i tore off the picture of the crow and underneath it it says y3x so type that in one y3x one z two Okay, we're printing out something else. Okay. 
This is like a receipt machine almost. Oh, okay. There is a message in your own reflection. So you've got that mirror. Yeah, let me check it. Oh, it just went bloody. Okay. Uh, 312 ZYX. Jeez, dude. This is, is this, like, is this, is this dark or what? Like, this is pretty dark, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never played, this is a Rusty Lake game. I've never played the other one, so. Me neither. I assume there's some darkness. Now, I've got a map here. I think it's a map of your room. Okay. Um. Oh, there's some arrow, there's an arrow. Okay. Okay, so the double doors, if you think of the double doors at the top of the map. Yeah. There's, so the right wall. Yeah. Uh, towards the bottom of the room. Yeah. Is there like a wardrobe or something? There's a table. With? There's that chest thing. There's the uh, furnace. The, the pictures. Chest, the, the chest thing. I think to the right. If you're facing the table, to the right of that, what's what's there? To the right of that was where. Uh, oh, there's something in here. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you need to interact with that. I've somehow. got a spoon and I've got a code for you. Dude, okay. nice call. X Z Y three one two. X Z Y three one two. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Next thing. Next thing. Eat your hot soup and you'll find a gift. Eat my hot soup. Okay, my soup is cold. Can I heat it? Oh, wait, I could probably put it on the, the fire. Duh. Okay, hold on. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so I've heated the soup. I've mm -hmm. taken that back. It's hot soup. I'm using the spoon. Uh, hold on. I gotta. I could probably put the soup in that bowl. Hold on, hold on. Yep, I'm going to eat the soup. And now I've got this little gem, okay? And that gem is the thing that matches this. Okay. So I've opened the thing with that code on it, and I've got the cotton swab, and I think I can get the blood from this. Okay. So let me investigate. <laughs> God. Ew. What the? Oh, I'm like, oh. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, I've got his blood. You got all the creepy stuff good on there. Yeah, but you got cool techno stuff. Um, okay, so I have the blood. Let me put that in the altar thing. And we should be good here for something to happen. Okay, so you've obtained the blood. Chapter 1, 2. Yeah. So I've... Uh, all the blood that you're in the thing is in the thing. So now I've got a new printout from Albert. Okay? Are you ready? My dear daughter okay. Rose, when you read this letter, you have activated the device I've been working on. When used in the right way, it can help the person in 1984. So that's your time. You're 1984. Okay. It's underlined, so that's probably important. It's your task to transfer bone, flesh, and blood into the future to initiate the resurrection process. Your loving father, Albert. And I got a coin as well off of that. So I have a coin okay, and so for me, and matches. For me, it says go to the hatch. Communicate print information with the person in the past and find the secret apartment. Oh, we're go to the hatch. Do you have a hatch? Because that's, no, 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 that's no, no, no. maybe I, that We already portable. did that. We need to go over complete. There we go. I feel like yours is more instruction driven. Oh, it says, please confirm that the person in the past obtained three substances. Enter the year of the future. So it was 84? 1984, yeah. Okay, there's some... Chapter two, chapter one, two. I don't know. Some crazy red stuff came on this on the screen. I've got a tape. Yes. Okay. So now we're now we're synced up again. Insert cassette tape and communicate time. Open chessboard. Both of you complete game of chess. It's always chess. So you know what's interesting about this? I'm realizing is we're not linked in any way online at all. Yeah. Like it didn't it didn't like sync us into a game or anything. It's just I could go around fumbling around and doing this stuff. But I would never, you would never be able to figure it out, right? Like it would just be. Yeah, we we have to sync our games ourselves, like synchronizing time. Or yeah, exactly. That's cool. That's really creative. Okay. Anyway. Okay. I'm playing this cassette. Yeah, play it. Fourteen thirty-five. Okay. Music playing. Okay. That's a time. Fourteen thirty-five. Oh. It's just like it's like bassy music. Okay, I'm gonna put uh, two thirty-five on my clock. Yep. Yep. I can oh, hear the bass. The... I can hear the bass, and, and the oh. furniture is shaking. <laughs> That's so cool. What does that have to do with chess, though? Nothing. Oh, everything. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got the I got the screwdriver. Okay. The cup fell. Okay. That's not. And I see oh, on the... it's knocking. Oh, it knocked over the vase with the rose. And now I have a bunch of pieces of this vase. 
that... Do I have to... What? Oh, I found another key. Okay, sweet. So now I can open the, uh, the dresser and we'll get our next clue here. And I'm opening up this thing with the screwdriver and I've got a chessboard. I have black chess piece and white chess piece. Here we go. Okay. So just to, so we're on the same page, the black chess piece is just like a dude and the white chess piece has like <laughs> horns. Okay. I don't know if that matters. Okay. For me, it's a, so I've got a chess board. Yep. And it's, there's two discs. I assume the gray one is the white one and it's on one F and then I assume, yeah, then there's a black disc that's on one A. So one F is white and one A is black. Yeah. Okay, so now it moved the white to A6. So maybe replicate that on your side. Yep. And it moved black to E5. E5. Okay. It moved white to A3. Black moved to E1. Okay. White moved to F3. Black moved to C3. And white moved to D1. C6 for black. C6. White moved to D6. Oh, and it opened up a thing and I have another coin. So I've got two coins now. Don't okay. know what they're for. I've got, an, I've got another floppy disk. Okay, that's great. Um, Both of you complete game of chess to obtain red floppy disk. Yes. So I assume I remove this floppy disk and insert red floppy disk. Loading power surge program. Okay. 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 Whatever that means. Okay. Crazy stuff on the screen. There's a person coming at me. Uh, the person in the past places coins on the eyes of the deceased. Ah. Warning, this may cause corruption of the soul. Oh, okay. Well, do I have a choice? I don't know. Just as press enter to continue. I'm putting oh, the coins continue. on. He's going all black, dude. He looks like the limbo boy. Okay. Oh, that is creepy, dude. Power surge program initiated. The program causes a voltage spike. Well, oh, he's getting out of the coffin, dude. Oh. He's stare. He's on the floor in baby pose, and he's waddling. He's crawling away. He's crawling up the. The wall. He's crawling up the uh, like exhaust of the fireplace. And the fireplace um, positions have changed. Those little notches. Okay. He's gone. He's gone. He's left the room. What? Okay. The are you feel? Are you doing okay? Yeah, that's weird. Okay. You need to take a bathroom break. No. Can I give you new okay. fireplace notch positions? Hold on. Hold on. It says uh, the program causes a voltage spike. Channeling this energy correctly will create a new connection <gasps> between the past. He didn't leave. <laughs> he's back, dude. He's staring at me. We'll make a new connection between the past and the future. A golden cube. Okay. He says it is almost time. Like a weird, like a weird thing. Okay. I've got. Oh my god! It's not stopping. Things are getting weird. I've got a whole bunch of clues here for stuff to give you. I think. Okay. I have to just smoke gas discharge. Flip the six okay. switches to the correct position. Okay. Break one second. Contact. I gotta hear what he's gonna say again. You must help me. You must help me. He says. And now he's disappeared back into the coffin. Okay, the I have a bunch of clues. Back. Oh, now he's I've back. I've got a rat here. here with red eyes staring at the switches. Shit, okay. Okay, okay the switches. I, I clicked it's, on him and it ran away. The switches are 315. 315? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the six switches? Or are you talking yeah. about the... Okay, you're not talking about the three sliders. No, no, no. no. Okay, the switches I have I in think, the mirror. I think it... Down, up, down. Down, up, up. Down, up, down. Down. Okay, so I got one fuse. Okay. Let me pop that in here. I think I need three. Yeah, and I, I, the three are going to be those sliders. You're going to get a fuse, and you're going to get a fuse from that oh. eye puzzle again. We're going to go back to that. Okay. okay. So the sliders? Sliders are uh, 315. Dude, that's creepy. I don't like that. Oh, three. Okay. And then go back to the eye. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me when you're there. I'm there. Okay, thermometer is one above the left. Yeah. The arrow is one above the right. And the cross is at the bottom. 
Oh man, I can see you. Oh, what am I doing? Oh god, man. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> You've got a black. Your 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 like dress is all black, pretty much. You have this creepy white mask. Yes, that's the mask. With I bright red hair, yeah. and I think the dude is behind you. Oh what? I can see the outline of the dude behind you. The dude's in front of me here. It is almost time. He says he moves between around you and the him. coffin. According to this, he's in the coffin for me. That's creepy, man. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, the, okay. So there's candles yep. to the right of the coffin. Correct. And the middle one is burnt out. Correct. Like cut off. So you're seeing what I'm seeing now. So you've opened up the portal. Is oh, open. God. He just moved. Yeah. <laughs> see, he's weird. She moved to your left. Yeah, he's weird. Oh, now he's, he's staring at me. <laughs> okay. I got the fuse. Okay. Oh, that kind of creeped me out, man. So I'm okay, waiting. So I've got all three. Yeah, I'm waiting. You got to put those fuses somewhere. Yeah. And something opened up. Power surge handle unlocked. Pull to finish the program. Pulled. Okay, fifteen twenty is the new time. Okay. Fifteen twenty. Three twenty. Something just. Oh yeah. I got lightning coming into my room, hitting stuff. So you set it to fifteen twenty, right? Yeah. Okay. Lightning is hitting certain objects within the room. Okay. It says, does the person in the past create the golden cube and place it in the cubicle device? Uh, oh, hold on. He's he's telling me something here. He is standing in front of the coffin, holding his hands in the air with electricity in the middle. We have to use this energy from 1984. What the hell? Good luck with that. To create a new connection to the future. A golden cube. He's, yeah. give, he's giving it to me. He's giving me the cube. I've got the cube. What did you say I need to do with the cube? Place it in the cubicle device. Yep. 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 You've done it? I've done it. Oh, okay. I think I might see your room now. Both of you press and hold the down arrow button for 10 seconds. Okay, ready? Press and hold at exactly the same time. Okay, you count it for me. Ready, go! <laughs> what? Two, three, four, five, six, shaking, seven, eight, nine, it's ten, in. ten. Okay. Some lightning came down and it like exploded on the cube computer. Future chapter two. I think we're, I think, yeah, bro, we're crushing the past chapter two. Okay. Okay. But then it says the future chapter one three. Oh, because he just finished it. All of my okay. So that box got like more. Oh, I'm whoa. It's a different st animation style for me. The the yes. previous one was more of a three D model. Same. And so thing, and now it's like two D hand drawn. Yeah, same. And I can drag around and see stuff. So remember at the beginning when you were describing your computer, how it's got all the sides. Mm -hmm. I think I'm replicating that now. Uh, okay, so mine looks more like yours. So mine yeah. says, Welcome to the cubicle device 002C. Resurrection process. Transfer bone, flesh, and blood into this device. This device holds the room of the person in the future. Verify connection by entering code. And I see all your codes that you were giving me before. Right? Okay. Uh, then I see on this side, there's like a moth thing. There's a symbol for bone blood and ears and then on the bottom there's like this other little squiggly symbol that i can't interact with okay we need to figure out what we need to do oh i've got a lot going on here because now i can see the whole room like you could yeah and i i think i'm well i don't know if this is your room necessarily it i don't think it is this is still the same room it's just that i'm basically Click you have a different point of view. Click and drag to focus on a point of interest. Yeah, I'm like stuck to this. You're kind box. of stuck and you're rotating around one point, right? Yeah, was that you? Yeah. That's exactly the way it was for me. Could you now, move now to different I have points? more of like now I have more of a um point and click. Yeah. Yeah, you were you like, like what you I was had. Doing. Exactly. What? So, what I've got mean? a yeah, I've got like lab equipment. I've got a vat. It actually wasn't a door that I was looking at before. It's like a vat. 
with all all kinds of controls, which I assume that's where we're oh, gonna. Oh, cool! So you're not in my old. Person. You're not in my room, but you're in. We're now. Our perspectives have swapped. We're in the same rooms. Yeah, we're just different perspectives. Yeah, yeah, neat. Okay, so I've got a, a piece of paper, a couple pieces of paper here. Uh, it's titled Resurrection Process, and there's a checklist. Yeah. So we got connect with my past self. Check execute extraction program. Check. Yeah. Execute power search program to create a golden cube. Check. Press and hold the down arrow for ten seconds. Check. And then power resurrection tank is the next one that's unchecked. Okay. And then it says communicate the following code. The code should be used on the cubicle device in the past. Yep, that's what I got. So hit me with that. Z1X23Y. Okay. So now instructions for me. Person in the future places black cube in C9. And I've got a code to communicate to you that's using the... Uh, the nine digits option that we have. Person in the future turns switch and communicates pointers, red, white, black. So do you have a black cube? <laughs> I have a black cube, yeah. You need to place that in C9, whatever oh, that I means. see it. Yeah, so I'll just kind of give you a brief overview of what I'm looking at. This is the VAT thing. Okay. So it takes up the whole, like, like the wall from, from floor to ceiling. Okay. And then there's like a red flashing light at the top. Below that, there's this big tank that takes up like half of the of the machine. Okay. Uh, there's like these um, cables coming out the sides. And then in the top right, there's this uh, panel that has C9 on the left. So I'm going to put that in there. And then there's a set of nine buttons to the right of that on the same panel. And then there's another panel below that has like a gauge. Okay. To the right of that, there's a switch. And then there's three buttons below that that say bone, flesh, and blood. Yep. Okay. So I put the I put the cube in. What was the next thing? Um, communicate this code. So you need to go to a place where you can do like black or white squares. There's nine of them arranged yeah, yeah, okay. in a larger yep. square. So the, yep. the, the three on the left are black, the middle are white, and the, the three on the right are black. Done. Okay. And then person in the future turns switch... And communicates pointers, red, white, black, it says. Okay, this, so the VAT now has a the dude in... What's the guy's name again? Uh, Vanderboom. Vanderboom's, like, shadowy limbo body is yep. in the VAT now. Okay, sweet. I think, <laughs> I think I'm looking at your lens thing. So you need to communicate... Uh, you need to turn the switch and communicate pointers, red, white, black. Because yeah, I have okay. red, white, and black switches. So red is full to the right. Okay. Black is full to the left, and white is full to the bottom. Okay. Excellent. Oh, I'm in the peephole. Hold on, I'm seeing something. It's oh, this better not be a jump. This is gonna be a jump scare. <laughs> Fuck. Now you probably see something oh, wait. that's weird. Yeah, so I see like an about. old gray haired scientist, which is probably me. And I see my dad's weird, creepy ass limbo body. And he's floating above in this weird pose. Yeah. Do you Baby see pose. Anything like that? Yeah, that's exactly, that's what I'm looking at on the vat. Now, is there anything weird about the image that you can... No, but it did unlock something for me. It gave me this okay. little uh, music key, and that's going to fit into this slot on this computer thing. Okay. I think. Yeah, it has to. Yeah, it is. Okay. Now I've got piano keys with notes on them. And a, uh, what I presume is maybe like a radio station tuning of 91.4. Okay, yeah, yeah, I've got a, I've got a radio so on top you, of a locker. If you tune to 91.4, uh, it'll probably play you a set of music notes, and you need to tell me what those are. Okay. A, G, A, B. Okay, now go to 72.0. C, D, E, G. Now go to 85.3. E, D, E, C. Now go to 110.2. B, A, G, A. Baga. I got a key. So I got a tooth key. So on this thing... Oh, my lights are flashing. I can use this to get the tooth. 
Okay, so I've activated the tooth section, and I've got a, a set of codes to relay to you. Um, they're in segments of three, and on each segment of three, one is black. Does that make any sense? And I've got six of those to communicate to you. Segments of three. Yeah. So, like, lines of, uh, like, do you have sliders you can move around over there? Oh, okay. I think I know. That are in threes? Yeah, I think I got... Okay. Okay, yeah. So the it's, it's all, it's like one column of uh, yes, six sliders. Exactly. So I'll tell you the position of the black for each of them, okay? Okay, yep. Uh, second position? Yeah. First position? Mm -hmm. Third position? Yeah. One, two, two. Yeah, it opened up. Okay. I got a big tooth.